Greetings and welcome. My name is Aaron Craig, and in this part of Bouncer Break, we're going to be doing some custom physics shaped objects. Objects that you can't normally do with just the creating the shapes yourself through the GUI. We're going to be using some code and a little bit of tricks to put any kind of shape you want inside of your project. Interested? Let's get started. So for this project, we're going to use these two shapes right here. We're going to use the Game Maker logo and this polygon, which has like a square Pac-Man kind of look. We're gonna drag both of these in here and you can download them from the comments below. Put them in sprites and we already have them named properly so I don't have to worry about that. Then I'm gonna open up the points object which is where all of our objects have lived and we're gonna make two new objects right here. So I'm gonna create two of them. The first one is gonna be for the logo. So I'm gonna call this O logo and I'm going to attach that Game Maker logo directly to it right there. Then I'm going to grab the second object and rename it O Polygon. A polygon is just any shape that has many different sides. And in this case, this is what it looks like, but it could look like anything. So I'm going to grab the polygon and throw that in there. Now, something that we've got to do, because when we want to rotate our objects, we want them to rotate uh, in a normal way instead of rotating in a really weird way. Uh, we're going to go into the sprites and we're going to give them a custom origin. So for this case, it's actually going to be right about here. And this origin is going to be important because it is 20 for the X and 38 for the Y. And we're going to use those numbers later on. And I'll tell you that when we get to it again. And then we got to set the origin for this one, which is going to be right here at 57 and 60. So let's go to our objects and we got to do just a few things first. This is a physics based game. So we have to click uses physics on both of them. Then we have a parent object that we need them to both be assigned to. So I'm going to click on parent for the polygon and find that parent object, which is O point parent. Put it there. Same thing for the logo. Go to parent find the one I'm looking for, and assign it. Remember that inheritance like this through parents and children allows code to be shared. So all of the code in the parent is now inside of here. So each of these objects will actually function just like all the other ones we've already set up, which is fantastic and cuts down a ton of our work. What we need to do now for this first custom shape, which we're going to do the polygon on, we're going to go to the create event and we're going to inherit this then because there's a bunch of extra lines here i'm just going to go ahead and delete a bunch of those clean it up a little and i'm going to explain what we're doing here and then we'll jump into the actual code portion so because this is a custom shape and game maker only allows a specific kind of shape we have to actually kind of tweak the system to work for us GameMaker only allows what it's called convex shapes. This is shapes that do not have any steep curve into themselves. This is because the physics limitation on the system they use is that. They can't do it. So they have an example here of a convex versus a concave shape. And you'll notice that both of the shapes we're now adding are concave. So we cannot just through their GUI point editor use these shapes natively. And that's a shame because there's a lot of cool shapes that are not just convex. So let's go ahead and open up the physics editor. And for each of these, we just need to change a few points so that they react the same way as all the others. So for the density, we're going to set the density to zero on these and restitution to 0 0.5. I'm going to quickly do that on both of these shapes so that I don't forget later. And that's that. Now, for the first shape, the polygon, we're going to open up its collision shape right here. And I'm going to make this big so that you can kind of see what we're doing. And we've got box and circle. Neither of those are going to work. We need convex shape, which allows us to put points on it. So this is actually a little bit like a puzzle game. So you remember those puzzle games where you had to make one shape out of lots of little different shapes? That's the exact same thing here. So for this con cave shape what other shapes that are allowed is it made out of when i look at it i actually see two triangles so if i put my points right here like on the end one up here and one over here 
it makes a large triangle for us. That wasn't a triangle at all. It makes a large triangle for us. And the remaining section down here is actually a smaller triangle. So what we can do with GameMaker is create our own fixture. It's called a physics fixture that we basically say, hey, I want this shape on this object, even if I move these dots around later. And so we create this triangle and we tell GameMaker, keep it where it's supposed to be on this object. And then later, after we do that, we can drag these points and we can make the rest of the shape that is not involved in that first big triangle. And now we've covered the entirety of the shape. And that's really all there is to it. As complex as shapes can get, you can make them up with smaller, more allowed shapes and build them up as you go. So I'm going to put these back. The game maker is going to move around. And we now have the points. We actually have the X and the Y coordinates right here. And these are the coordinates we're going to use when we plug this in. So now that we know all of that, let's jump over to the create event and code it ourselves. If you want to follow along with the code, follow along on the left. If you want to follow along with visual, follow along on the right. So the first thing we're going to do is create the physics fixture. And we're going to save that in a local variable called first try, meaning first triangle. So we call physics fixture create and save what that gives us. Then we're going to set the polygon for this fixture. And we're going to put that local variable that we just created inside of it, linking these two things together. So game maker knows we have a physics fixture and where we're saving that data. Now we're going to add each of the points, the X and Y positions that we mapped out in the editor into this physics fixture. So this first point is at one and 75. This next point is at one and one. And finally, the last point is at 75 and one. And the last thing that we need to do is then assign this fixture using the extended version of the function bind. So we're going to pass in our fixture that we have set, created, and added the points to, assign it to itself, and we're going to use those coordinates, that custom origin that we made, and that's where it's going to live. And that's it. Let's go ahead and go into our room. And we're going to put a few of these inside of here and go ahead and delete all the other shapes because we're not interested in them. Now, you're going to be tempted to just rotate this to see if it works properly. But this is going to give you an error. So for now, let's keep these all rotated the same way and run the game and see if this works. So I'm going to shoot into that and you can see it's bouncing exactly as you would expect it to and it's working perfectly but what happens if we come in here and we rotate this object well the physics rotation hasn't been changed and what that means is the fixture we set on it we set those points to be very specific spots and then we just rotated it like 80 degrees and those physics points don't know that we did that it doesn't communicate correctly. So if I try to shoot through this, it actually goes right through the object. The reason for that, again, is because the physics hasn't been updated. The rotation of the physics object hasn't changed. But there's a quick way to around that. Double click on your object, and in the creation code of it, we can actually type phi rotation. This variable controls the physics rotation of it. <clears throat> and if we set it to negative 90, then this one right here will actually rotate to the left. So now if I shoot in there, it works exactly as you would expect. So to do some customization inside of this project, you could absolutely take these and maybe in the point parent object, 
you could rotate them every single time if you notice that they're one of these specific you know more complex shapes you can rotate them more or in a specific direction that's totally up to you but that is how we create a custom shape and now let's jump over to the logo object because this one requires a little more imagination so let's check it out let's go to the collision shape here and blow this up so we can take a look at it this shape is not just two triangles it's a little more complex but remember that game maker can do any convex shape so we're going to come over here and change it from box to convex and this is how i look at it i can see a point right here another one here and another one right here so that one is a triangle but then if we did that we'd have to create several fixtures which we totally can do that's the beautiful thing but if we come over here and we came up here again this shape outline is perfectly valid this is a allowed shape and then all that's left is this little triangle piece so we can either do this whole section right here as a fixture which means we have to add in more code so not ideal or we can start with just the triangle since we know where that's going to end up now we can create that triangle for ourselves right here delete that point delete that point so there we go this is the small triangle and the rest of that shape we can actually point out in this editor no problem so let's go into the create event right click and we need to inherit again so from here let's do the same thing we did before but we're going to take these x and y coordinates this time and plug them in and we got to make sure that we have the offset for when we apply the fixture because this one is a little bit different as well let's give it a try so for this one we're going to do almost the exact same thing we're going to create a physics fixture and assign it to a local variable called first try we're going to set it to be a polygon and let it know that this variable is going to be that physics fixture that we're using then we're going to add those three points to the fixture the ones that we outlined inside of the editor itself and so the points for the first fixture point is going to be 69 and 49 the second set of points is 69 and 21 and the last set of points is 95 and 50. then we're going to bring it all together with the physics fixture bind extended function letting game maker know hey these are the points we want to use and this is our object and we're going to put it at negative 57 and negative 60 which is the custom origin that we set when we brought in the sprite and that's all the code we need for this object so let's scroll down and we have to change from this tiny triangle to the rest of that shape so we can move these points around put them where they belong and then we will add a few more since we did that they're a little bit out of order if you get this just drag one of those points back to make it valid so i'll put this point at the bottom this point right here and i'll add one more point right there and that's the final shape we need let's go into our room and let's add a couple of these logos in move these ones way down out of the way and give this a try so this is everything to make custom shapes inside of your physics game voila working beautiful so now you know how to do it it takes a little bit of code but the result is definitely worth it looks really great and once you get it set up you can use it again and again and again so i hope you're excited and i hope you can use this in your project somewhere let me know how it goes for you what shapes are you using what kind of stuff are you making i'd love to see it thanks for joining me and as always keep making keep learning and i'll talk to you later